beats us to the punch. Congrats, Jared. What a performance. You just beat a UK fighter, highly re regarded one as well, on his home turf. How do you feel right now? I feel great, man. Um, it, it's not easy coming into uh, enemy territory. Like, I was getting some boos like I expected. But that being said, um, everybody that I've met in person here has been very welcoming. You know what I mean? Including Danny Christie himself. He, he was a gentleman before and after the fight, very respectful. Um, you know, nothing but good things to say about him. How did you see the fight? Uh, it was a relatively short fight. Probably you didn't expect that, and you had him down several times. How did you see the openings when you actually caught him? So, um, and, and I'm not even trying to sound humble. I attribute it to my coaches because um, I, I was a little nervous coming into this fight, um, but just, just talking to them um, helped calm me down. And they're always in my ear when I'm in the, when I'm in the ring. You know what I mean? Like whether the, the cameras can hear him or not, I can hear him clear as day. And uh, there's a lot of little simple things that um, they tell me to do that makes the biggest difference. You know what I mean? It's, you know, it's stuff that I'm trained for, but when you're caught up in the moment, sometimes you forget some simple things. And they're always right there just telling me the correct things to do. Um, even after like the first knockdown, you know, first thing they said was be a professional, which means don't rush, don't just try and run in there and, and, and hopefully finish it real fast. Like, you know, still pick your shots because it could happen just as easy that he gets up and cracks me with something good, you know? So that was really something striking. We saw that you were cool, calm and collected. And then you caught him, second knockdown. And the last one was a stiff jab. Did you feel that jab very flush on him? I did actually like it. The only part that's sore on me right now is my middle knuckle. Um, and yeah, thankfully it landed flush. Don't have any uh, hand injuries or anything. And that's the thing. I, I, jabs can do a lot in the sport. You know what I mean? Like a lot, like regular boxing, it's usually just to set something up. But you can, in this, this sport, you can finish people with it. Now, what was your mindset like going into this fight, coming over here? You expected the booze, you said. Uh, what made you so strong mentally to just deal with all of this? <clears throat> Again, well, first, I was praying a load. I'm like, please don't let me get my kicked in front of everybody. Um, and again, like I said earlier, my, my coaches, you know what I mean? Like, you know, they, my, my head coach, uh, Jihad, he's had hundreds of fights himself. Um, he's been there, done that. And um, he knows the feeling. And uh, he was able to just kind of talk me out of being nervous that I was earlier in the day today. Um, so yeah, I really got to give credit to the team. This puts you in a fantastic position. Danny Christie, highly regarded. And now you got his cup on your resume. What's next for you? Uh, he was the top ranked guy in my division. So it's got to be Lorenzo next. You know what I mean? Like, there's, there's no one else. So let's make that fight happen. Well, how do you see a fight with Lorenzo going? How would you approach this fight? Uh, I think it'd be spectacular. You know what I mean? Like, he, he has a lot of a size on me and most of his opponents. Um, but I don't care. I've always kind of been on the on the lighter side for my weight division. But uh, if he can get down to that weight, and I hope that he does, uh, we're going to have a banger of a fight. You came all the way over here overseas. You're here with your team, a small but strong team. How, how important was your team in all that process? And also Crystal and Shift Combat team, of course. How much strength does that, does that give you? It, it, well, first off, it means a lot to me that um, you know, the team on their own dime would, would spend the money to fly over here, take time out of their schedules and stuff. And uh, it's everything. Like I said, like the rest of the country, uh, more or less, would be rooting for Danny. You know what I mean? That's what I expect. They should do that. I would expect it in, uh, in reverse if it was in the USA. But uh, so, yeah, it was, it was a little nerve wracking. It was a new experience. I have fought out of country before, but it's been a long time. And uh, this was the first time as a main event on a bigger scale. So uh, having, having them uh, here with me, you know, the team and Chris and everybody uh, was huge. They helped, they helped calm me down and, and give me someone to, uh, to lean on. And you represented the USA well. USA versus UK tonight, it worked out. Caleb Harris, he came over last time and he fought Rico Franco. It didn't work for him. So how proud does that make you come here as an American and uh, get the win? It, it, it's huge, man. I, it, it almost like messed with me sometimes. It's almost like... Am I supposed to lose? Like so many people want him here to win, but then of course at some point you just say, F "No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the best I can, regardless of what's you know they want to happen." Uh, so yeah, it was huge, man. Um, 
But they do. BKFC UK does put on a very good show. You know what I mean? Um, they were very accommodating the whole time we were here. Um, so I, I think that this division of it is just going to keep exploding. You know what I mean? And I got to meet a lot of cool uh, fighters here, a lot of tough dudes. And uh, that's, that's what we need. You know, we need more, more killers in the sport. And they got a lot of them over here. So it was awesome. What are you going to do uh, for the rest of your stay here in the UK? You're going to see some stuff? You're going to tourist? We fly out in about, hold on, seven hours. So that means we're not going to sleep. We're going to find a local pub and we're going to drink. We're going to celebrate. Yeah, I mean, it's been months since I've been allowed to have a drink anyway. So this is the time. We're going to celebrate. I'm Jared Warren with Bare Local News. Nobody beats him to the punch.